Hello, this is Tanner Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these amazing line patterns on wood using high voltage and baking soda. So, to make these amazing lines on wood or fractals, you will need to use a high voltage power supply. The power supply that I am using is my plasma arc speaker from a previous video. It also works as a high voltage power supply. I rebuilt the plasma arc speaker so it's actually on perf board and it's inside an enclosure and it can run off AC instead of my bench power supply. So now to preparing the wood. I used 1 16th inch wood that had a sort of tannish white side. This makes for better contrast and an overall better line drawing. Then you need to take baking soda and water and make a solution. Now, the molarity of the solution doesn't really matter. It can be almost anything. And then you pour the baking soda and water solution onto your wood and wait till it soaks in. Then you are ready to start making some line drawings on the wood. So, to start, you will need to hook up the ground of your power supply to the wood. Then you take the positive of your, of your power supply and make sure it's resting firmly on the wood. And then make sure you're outside because it makes smoke and you don't want your smoke detector to go off. Finally, turn on your power supply and wait for the magic to happen. Now, during the process of the wood etching, you might need to move your high voltage probe around to different parts of the board because the sparking and the lines might stop. Whenever the high voltage stops drawing the lines, then you will know to move your high voltage cable. So, the drawing of the line is about halfway done, and as you can see, it's branching off from both sides, the negative probe and the high voltage probe. I had to move the high voltage probe somewhere else because it had stopped making lines. And you can see there's a slight ring around where all the lines are being burned, where there's dried up baking soda. This process has been going on for about seven minutes, and you can see the results are pretty staggering. When all the lights are off, you can see that on each point of the, let's call it a tree, there's a purple coronial discharge. Here is the finished product from our high voltage line burning. And as you can see, the patterns that the high voltage burnt are all fractals. This piece is very amazing. Now, I could probably make this bigger and better by re-wetting it and then doing the process again, but I really like how it turned out. Here are a few different high voltage wood burnings that I have done. As always, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.